Hello agro-lovers, welcome back to your favorite agricultural YouTube channel. There's a saying that food is part of every culture. So therefore, farming should also be everybody's business. Uh, on this note, I'll welcome you to a new series on this channel. I created this series to talk about uh, various type of backyard farming so as to serve as a way of improving food self-sufficiency among our people especially people living in the urban area and have passion for growing their food or passion for agriculture and also for people who out of fear of uh, pesticide and consuming bad food want to grow their own uh, fresh food as much as possible. So on this series, I'll be giving you various tips and uh, information ideas about how you can practice backyard farming at the comfort of your home and make some passive income for yourself, uh, provide some, for some kind of food for yourself and live a healthy life. But before I go on, I would like to appreciate you all for liking this channel for subscribing, for watching our videos, and for telling your friends about what we do on this channel. And if you are watching for the first time, I would like to tell you that this channel is all about agriculture and agribusiness. This channel is dedicated to farm owners, farm lovers, and agripreneurs. And also for people who want to uh, establish their own farm, on this channel, uh, I give uh, tips about agricultural productivity and advice on the best way to practice our culture in a more sustainable and a profitable way. So straight to business. Today I'll be talking about uh, backyard farming. Uh, when we say backyard farming, backyard farming is just a kind of avenue whereby you practice agriculture or agribusiness on a small scale, on a very small scale, uh, particularly at the comfort of your home with the aim of making yourself a kind of kind of food sufficient and also uh, provide some kind of passive income for yourself. This kind of uh, farming cut across animal or crop farming. You can actually downsize uh, any kind of farming and practices as a backyard farming. So uh, this farming, backyard farming I mean, is ideal for people who don't have time, especially people living in the urban area where they, there's shortage of land. So you can, this kind of farming you can practice at the backyard, at the comfort of your home. People who don't have time and also people who have a, a kind of flair for fresh food, people who have flair for organic food, who want to grow their own food themselves. So that is that about uh, backyard farming. So today, I'll be talking about sack farming. Under, this is an aspect of backyard farming, whereby you can grow some kind of crop on your own, at home, using sack. When I say sack farming, as the name implies, sack farming means you are growing food, you are growing crop inside sack. And there are so, there are so many kind of crop you can grow inside crop. I'll be citing some examples for you and also I'll be giving you uh, some requirements you need to actually set up your own sack farming at the comfort of your home. So to start with, what are the advantages? The advantages sack farming offer. Number one thing is that sack farming is very ideal for people who have their compound or their backyard everywhere in their house uh, interlocked or cemented so this is kind of breaking the barrier and you can actually practice uh, uh, farming growing crop in kind of in in that kind of uh, environment so that's the number one thing about it and the number two thing is that you you spend less in uh, in weeding and watering so so what are the crops what are the crops you can actually practice, uh, you can actually grow in a sack. 
I will cite like five examples. You can grow pepper with that chili pepper or uh, bonnet pepper, scotch bonnet pepper. You can grow your tomato inside the sack. You can you can grow your okra. Uh, you can also actually grow your cucumber. You can grow your eggplant. The list go on and on. So what are the requirements? What are those things you need to set up a, a sack farm at your own backyard, in your own compound? So as you all know, number one, you'll be needing sack. You'll be needing sack, as the name is implied, and not just any kind of sack, preferably cement sack. Cement sack. And if you, can, if you cannot get cement sack, you can go for a big-sized uh, nursery bag. These are nursery bags that are already perforated, the bigger size. It is not advisable for you to use pulley bag because pulley bag, they are not thick. That's number one. And number two is that they are not perforated. The issue of waterlogging will occur at some point. So, and also you'll be needing uh, dry poultry manure dry poultry manure. You can actually use fertilizer, but I advise people who wants to go organic or it's even cheaper and it's safer. That's why you can get a full sack of dry poultry manure from all this poultry. You can buy it maybe 2000 to 3000 per sack. They will pack it for you. You put it somewhere in your compound. So, and also you need a topsoil. Topsoil. If you live in an urban area, you can get laborers to to pack soil for you and fill up the bag for you in your compound. What you need is the topsoil. Then you mix it with the dry poultry manure before putting in the sack. So then another thing you need is quality seed. You can buy cucumber seed or cross seed you plant. And the most interesting thing about sack farming is that since is in the comfort of your home, the security and you can actually, you have your, you do it at your leisure. You do the monitoring and the weeding at your leisure. You can look around them during, over the weekend, give them some water, all those kind of thing. Then you have, you have a fresh food at your disposal. So those are the advantages of uh, sack farming. If you find this video interesting and valuable, kindly give it a like and share with your friends and for further question uh, and further engagement on this particular topic whether you want me to discuss another type of uh, backyard farming or any kind of question kindly drop it in the comment section then we take it from there see you next time